Hey gang, it's last username. And I have been hard at work in my grass growing laboratory on my latest light sensor. And this is it. It's called the Light Sensor 12X. It's a day night detector. Um, it uh, pretty much uh, replaces my old light sensors, the 14X and the 7X. Um, I've been able to make the machine much smaller using my inline bud arrays. Uh, which I showed off in another video. I'll link to that in the description. Um, but the 14X and the 7X are both 12 blocks wide, and this machine is only 8 blocks wide. And actually, if you don't count these torches along the edge here, then it's only 6 blocks wide. So much more compact. Um, I've even managed to shave a couple blocks off the ends too. This is 18 blocks long for 12 sensor blocks. It's pretty good, and uh, it's uh, basically the same height as well, so much more compact. Um, otherwise, uh, works pretty much the same way, has the same sensitivity, um, and uh, I will show you how it works as we build it. All right, we're going to start by cutting out the footprint of the machine because um, we're going to sink it into the ground by one block. You don't have to do that, but it looks a little better if you do. So let's use our trusty world edit to select an 18 by 6 area. There's 6 and 18 and set that to air. And now we're going to put a row of blocks along there. A uh, row of grass blocks next to it. And then we're going to put two rows of 12 uh, regular non sticky pistons um, here 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and here. And those will be the, the inline bud arrays. Um, surround those with grass. like that. Put uh, redstone torches in the ground there and there. Um, these two redstone torches here are actually the only reason this machine is six blocks high instead of five. Um, those are the only blocks on that layer. Um, so if you conveniently ignore those then it's still five blocks high. Let's do that. Um, put a uh, piston there and there. Put obsidian behind those pistons there and there so they don't get pushed. And to put some wiring down, redstone torch right there, redstone dust there and there, and a repeater right here pointing at that piston and set two ticks. One, two. Put some more dust over there to this block where you will put another redstone torch. Dust all along the edge here. Over to here. Nope, over to here where you put a repeater. Leave it at one tick. Put a block there. Torch. And more dust along this edge. All the way to there, put a block right there, torch on the block, and underneath the block put dust and connect it back to this torch here. So we've got a loop of four redstone torches going around the machine and a little pulse extender here um, for uh, secret reasons, which I will not explain, but it needs to be there. So what we've got here is a pair of bud arrays that are set up in a kind of flip-flop and it doesn't like rain so I'll turn that off. Um, so if you update one of these bud arrays the machine will change states and the other bud array will be active and triggering that bud array will flip the machine back to 
the first state. So only one butter ray is active at a time. That's what we want. Um, from here, we're going to put grass on top of the bud array pistons, so 12 blocks on each side. So these are the sensor blocks. These are the blocks that will change between grass and dirt to detect night and day. And the nice thing about this machine is you can actually see these blocks from the outside of the machine. So you can sit there with some popcorn and watch the grass grow and die. It's pretty exciting. Um, from here we're going to put slabs, four on each end, like this, and glass in the middle here. Like that. And another ring of grass source blocks, like this. All the way around. Like so. And now we're going to put two blocks there, put redstone dust on top of them, and replace this block here with a piston, regular piston. Um, on this side, put three blocks here, like that. Get rid of these two, and put a piston right there, like that. So those two pistons are the water control pistons. Uh, another improvement on this machine is that it only uses two water source blocks in the corners instead of four on each side. That's enough to cover everything. Um, and to get that water in there, we just have to put, oh, first put redstone dust here so that that torch can power that piston there. And then fill in some blocks here. So one, two, three, all the way to the end, again, and this one, just leave that last corner block out, that's where the water will go. Um, get some more slabs and put them starting here, along the edge, over top of the piston, cover all that grass. Go around here all the way to that piston. That's where you need the slabs, you don't need them over here. Put a glass block right there. And now we can put the water in. And that goes right there. And another one right there. And if we no-clip in the machine, we should see that the water covers everything, as it does. And now what we need to do is put the final layer of grass on top. So, six cross like that. The window's going to be over here. Whoops. So, grass along there. And along here, and leave a 12 long window there. Put the rest of the grass here. Put leaves in the window. Leaf block of your choice. And finally, don't forget this, we need to put the torches on the outside to provide the grass source blocks with light. And I'm going to put those on the side farthest away from the window. I'm going to put them all along this top edge here. And on the other side, we're going to put them all along the ground. 
and these ones have to be at that level. If they're anywhere else, they will not they will either not provide enough light or they will pollute the inside of the machine with light. So they gotta be right there. And put another two there and there just to provide some light to these source blocks. And that's it, we're done. That's the light sensor 12X. Um, and I will provide a little explanation of how it works. This is the same explanation I provided for the 7x video, but since some people might be have not seen that video, I will give the explanation again. If you've already seen it, you're done. Um, otherwise, stay tuned. And here we are in the fantastic innards of the Light Sensor 12x. Um, you can see that the machine is in day mode right now, and that means that it's full of water. So the light situation we have in here, the sky is light level 15. Um, as soon as it hits these leaves, it will diffuse and start to decay. So the light inside these leaves is going to be level 14. Here it's 13. And when it hits the water, it's going to start to go to decay faster. So this is going to be light level 10. And this will be level 7. This will be level 4. And this will be level 1. So Level 10 is not enough, still too bright for this grass to die, even when it's underwater. So this grass will stay alive during the day. Um, but light level 1 uh, is enough to kill any grass that's over here. So you'll have dirt on this side of the machine. Um, when night comes along, here's what happens. The sky goes to light level 4. That's the brightness of the moon. So this will be level 3. Two, and this will be zero with the water here. And uh, light level zero, and grass is underwater, it will die, as that block did. It's going to stop the rain, because that's annoying. And the bud uh, array detected that grass block dying, switched the machine into night mode, and turned the water off with these pistons here. So now the situation is that you've got the, there's not much light coming from the sky, but these torches here are providing light to the inside of the machine. So this is light level 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Now light level 5 is enough to make the grass grow back, as you can see it did, um, but the machine's in night mode so that the, uh, the bud array on this side is not working. This one is working and is waiting for this grass to grow, uh, to grow back. Um, but there's only light level five, four, three, two on this side during the night, which is not bright enough to do that. However, when day comes along, all of a sudden you've got light level 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine over here, which is plenty to make one of these grass, one of these dirt blocks grow into grass, which is detected by the butter ray and switches the machine back into day mode, letting out the water and killing off that grass block. And that is the full cycle of the light sensor. Um, I don't know if you were able to follow that, did my best to explain it, but uh, fortunately you don't have to understand it. You just have to build it and enjoy it. Um, I'm Last Username. Take it easy.